literally none of them went into family medicine. Not not a single student. What? Yeah, <laughs> I think there were not not even pediatrics. I don't think. Wait, hold on. Let me let me let me pull up the figures so you guys can see. I don't want to flame them for no reason. So we got anesthesiology, dermatology, emergency medicine, general surgery. We have two, four, six, eight, nine internal medicine. Um, but we don't know if those people are going to specialize or not. You have neurology, OB, ophthalmology, orthopedic surgery, pathology. We have uh, we have some pediatrics, PMNR, plastic surgery, psychiatry. So I don't know. Would you consider pediatric, you know, like primary care or? I I, I would say. But there's so. no family. There, there's no family medicine. Wow. None. Like for me, I would say that people going. I mean, I don't, I don't want to put words in the mouth, but I think the internal medicine people is probably going to specialize in something, you know, GI, cardiology, something, especially coming from NYU, pretty like, academic, you know, academic, prestigious mm -hmm. institution. Yeah. Now, there's two people that went to medicine, primary medicine, mm -hmm. right? Wait, what's and primary probably, medicine? Like, I don't know. Would that be primary care? Yeah. Primary medicine. Okay. Wait, is there another regardless right okay but there's no family medicine there's, there's just the i think there's like eight pediatrics but you know pediatrics is pediatrics it's not primary care for everybody what i'm curious about is that family medicine well let me finish this because it's funny because all the interviews that they did in 2018 i look back with cnbc and like cnn and all this stuff they, they were talking about oh yeah we and they pull research from students. And this is a problem with students too, is is that, oh yeah, the reason why we don't go to primary care medicine is because uh, the debt burden is too high when you graduate, $200,000, $300,000. And we see now that even you make the, <laughs> even, you make, even if you graduate debt free, people are still gonna go for a high paying specialty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So regardless, even if there's, you know, six, eight pediatrics, two primary care internal medicine, mm -hmm. That's still a very low ratio of students graduating to primary care. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is going for higher paying specialty. So it's a lame excuse. So, yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they were honest about the intention, but it didn't work out the way they wanted to. I think if you really want people to do that, um, do what Kaiser does and force them to a contract. If you're gonna, we're going to pay for you four-year medical school but you have to come out as inter uh hospitalist or uh family medicine and work with us for three four years mm -hmm. you have to match into family medicine mm -hmm. or internal medicine primary care what i'm so what i thought that was yeah a good point what i'm curious about is like can you i'm i'm gonna look up like the match the residency programs that people matched in before this whole debt free thing in nyu does that make sense? Let's see if if there's a difference. If there's an increase in primary care, yeah, well, you know what I mean. After that, like maybe this yeah, is true. maybe this that's is just, that's, that's probably a good that's probably a good point to to have. Sorry, can you look it up? Yeah, and why do you what what do I look up like math? Especially yeah, NYU medical school match twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one was the class that didn't have the tuition free, uh, debt free and stuff, right? Yeah, twenty twenty two is the first class. I keep on getting twenty twenty two. We in twenty twenty two. And why you Grossman, Grossman School of Medicine, or uh, what? 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 And why you? NYU Langone Health. Okay. Uh, 
Help me find it too. I'm just still, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm I'm going to it right now, but I only see the 2022. Warren Alpert, no. Rutgers, no. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's just not take too much time but uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see right like maybe this is just the statistics for the yeah. nyu or the school specifically that no one that matched will choose primary care anyways you know so this is <laughs> um yeah this is this interesting but doesn't doesn't riverside have some of that riverside school of medicine that's true i don't know I remember. I, I think so. no. Uh, I I think no. I think you gotta pay for UCR must school, and then I think you just. For, uh, I know for sure that I think with, you go to UCR undergrad, and you do well enough to a certain point, you get automatic spots at the med school. Oh, you get a spot. Then. Um, I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know. If that's what you're talking about. That's actually like a program. No, I'm talking school. about like going into the medical school, pay off your school yeah loans for you. they'll pay off your school loan you'll graduate debt free as long as you stay in the community and work either one of their like the hospital or something for like i forgot like 10 years or, so, or like five years <laughs> but then what what did you what did you match somewhere else and then do you, do you want you to come back no you match somewhere else and you 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 don't get it debt free <laughs> So you gotta pay for it. Yeah, you gotta pay else. for it. So like, it works perfectly if yeah. you like want to stay in Riverside. That's where your home is, and everything. You know, but yeah, I I would understand that. So my wife, uh, my wife makes a good point that they should increase the pay for primary care specialty. That's how you can attract people, which I think is a good point. That's how you can attract people to go into primary care. Yeah. They're still trying to cut it. They're still trying to cut. You know, you know they try to cut. You know they try. You know they try to cut um, reimbursement for family uh, <sighs> for primary care from Congress by like I think like six or seven percent. Why? And someone pointed this out. That was funny to me. And then the AAP, so or like the AMA or something, they went to lobby for it, and so they managed to. It's like uh, they remember them sending an email. It's like, oh yeah, we victory in the court, and they, we managed to keep them till they only cut by one percent. And you think about it, that's not a victory because <laughs> they're still getting the, cut. I think inflation rate was seven. In, inflation was seven percent this year, so we actually lost like eight <laughs> percent. It's not even. It's not even keeping up. Every year there should be this like a one to two or even three percent inflation rate. Like they should be bumping our reimbursement by three percent every year. Yeah. Instead of trying to cut it, and people are saying it's it's the perfect sales technique where the government kind of tells you to. Shoot, man, my camera died again. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> um, where, 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 the, where the government, where the government tells you to, not the government, but like you go to, like it's, I don't think it's called foot in the door effect, but if you give someone like a really high number, like I'm gonna sell you this car for fifty thousand dollars, and then later on they tell you, you know what, you're a good person, and you like try to haggle down the price of them to like thirty thousand or something, they're like, I'm gonna sell you the car for forty thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. And you'd be like, oh, you know, that's a good idea. that's a good deal because I was I got it for ten thousand dollars cheap, but they were planning to sell you the car for like thirty five thousand dollars anyway, so they making five thousand dollars profit. So you know, Congress saying they're gonna cut ten percent when they actually just wanted to cut like one two percent. That's all they needed. It's it's negotiation one on one, man. You always start off high because yeah. 